Crime news this morning. Two people have died. Several others were injured, including two first responders in connection to two related shootings in Tucson, Arizona yesterday. We go to Eric Fink with the latest developments. I mean, I never witnessed anything like this, but I, I see it. I saw it with my eyes. I saw it. Tucson Fire says the call for this house on Irene Street came in around 345. Shortly after 345, Tucson police say the suspect drove about a mile north to Quincy Douglas Park. He opened fire and started shooting at first responders. Police say he hit both of them. Minutes later, the gunman went back to the house on Irene. Firefighters are starting to put out the flames at this point. Police say the suspect starts firing at firefighters and neighbors. Police say one neighbor was shot and died. A firefighter was also hit, and authorities say he is in good condition. Police say the suspect fired at a police officer, that officer returning fire, hitting the suspect. The witness tells us he saw the gunman outside the house just keep shooting. So one by one, like, after he finished, he was, I seen him loading it again, and the guy even told him, no, stop, and he kept on loading and kept on shooting. He was shooting at the, uh, the cops, too. Police telling us Sunday night there are also two or three children who live at this house whose whereabouts are unknown. The investigation has only just started. Both a highly tragic, really horrific incident um, with many unknowns at this time that in, that's going to involve a lengthy and complex investigation. Crazy and stupid, you know, the way things happen here. I don't know what was the issue, but it's and it's scary at the same time. A Sunday afternoon quickly turning chaotic in this Southside neighborhood. 